Number 61. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressure, if requested, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this balanced equation. So in this case, we have to find the change in concentration of CS2 gas plus 4H2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with CH4 gas and then 2H2S gas. We got to start with what we're given. Now, in this case, they said that the CS2 gas was increasing by a factor of X. Now, I say that it's increasing because it's a positive X value. They didn't say it's a negative. So we got to say that this is a positive X. And positive means that it's increasing. So now, if this reactant is increasing, what's going to happen to the other reactant? Yeah, if one reactant increases, the other reactant has to increase as well. So I know that this number is also going to be a positive value. And now if all of the reactants are increasing, what's going to happen to all of the products? Well, if the reactants all go up, the products have to go down, right? So you can't all increase the whole system or decrease the whole system. One side is increasing, the other side has to decrease. So I know that these two values for CH4 and H2S, these are minus going down. Now we just got to figure out what these are. Well, that comes from the coefficients. There was no coefficient in front of the CS2. That means that there was one. There was a four in front of the H2, nothing in front of the CH4. That means that there was one and there was a two here. You are adding by your coefficient value. So this one, technically we are adding by one X, but remember one X is the same thing as an X. So that's why we don't write it. But if you have any other number like this four and the two, you got to write the number. So this would be plus, there's a four here, so plus four X. This one is a one for the CH4. So I can say minus one X, but minus one X is the same thing as just saying minus X. And then here's the two, I can say that this is minus two X. Now we just have to figure out what those values are. Well, going by what we know, we know that the X value equals 0 0.020. So if the X value equals 0 0.020, I can find out what all these other ones are by just plugging in for X. Technically, this would be plus 4 times 0 0.020. This is the same as x, but it's just a negative. So we can automatically just attack this one. This would be minus a 0 0.020 molarity. And then this one would be minus 2 times 0 0.020. Okay, so let's just do this math, right? 0 0.020 is 0 0.08. Let's see. Yep. So I get 0 0.080 molarity for the H2. And then I get minus 0 0.040 molarity for the H2S. And we are all done. Notice how these are not initial uh, concentrations or equilibrium concentrations. Remember, there's no such thing as a negative molarity. The negative is representing that this is decreasing by 0 0.02 molarity. But since we don't know the initial, we can't say, you know, what the actual value is. And that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. And let's just keep working hard, all right? I believe in you guys. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And I will see you in next lessons. Okay, bye-bye.